What's up everybody, Chef Billy Parisi here, and I am so thankful you guys stopped by because I've got an amazing recipe, literally from my childhood. We're gonna be making Sicilian style sheet pan pizza. Bob's Red Mill is gonna help us hook up the crust and we've got a ton of awesome toppings to load this bad boy up. I've got some absolutely incredible memories from my grandma back in Detroit. We are Sicilian and she would make this kind of sheet pan, thin crust, homemade pizza. It was awesome. My grandma was a phenomenal baker and always made the best sheet pan pizza. And while I thought her pizza was amazing, I'm gonna sort of elevate it a little bit, change up the crust a little bit to make it a bit thicker, a bit more hearty, uh, because, well, that's what I like to eat. So let's start by making that pizza dough. We're gonna be using Bob's Red Mill all-purpose flour. It is honestly the best all-around flour out there. I always say it's got enough protein for those hearty artisan breads and delicate enough for your beautiful birthday cakes. So go ahead and add some flour to a standing mixer. The next thing we're gonna do is add in some sea salt. We're gonna add in a bit of sugar followed up by drizzling in some extra virgin olive oil. Next, sprinkle in some yeast. And then once our water is between 110 and 115 degrees, we're gonna add that right to the bowl of the standing mixer. Put the hook attachment on and go ahead and let this knead for in between three and four minutes. What we wanna do is make this dough come together. The dough is finished, super easy, super simple. Now we need to let it rest for about 90 minutes or so or until it doubles in size. So what I like to do is throw a little terry towel right over top, go hang out for a few minutes, and then we're gonna come back and do some toppings. Pizza toppings are gonna be completely up to you guys. I like to load these sheet pan pizzas up because honestly, that's what my grandma did and that's what I like to do. Vegetables, meats, different cheeses, you name it. I wanna pack this thing full. But this part is all about prep and the pizza load up comes a little bit later. So what I'm gonna do is run some whole garlic cloves right through a press. We're gonna simply scrape it into a small bowl. Next, we wanna drizzle in a bit of olive oil and sort of give it a little mix with a spoon, set it to the side. This is gonna sort of be brushed on our pizza dough before everything else goes on. Next, I've got some vegetables. We are gonna slice up some tomatoes, slice up some mushrooms, some green peppers, and then onto the cheeses. I've got some mozzarella cheese, of course, whole milk, full fat, make sure it's nice and flavorful. And I've also got a mozzarella ball that we're gonna slice up. It's gonna make this extremely, extremely cheesy. Okay, the prep is done. You may need to sit a little bit longer until the dough has doubled. Once it is done, you'll see that it's literally filling up that bowl that we mixed all the ingredients together in. We want to put it into our sheet tray now. I've got a really deep sheet pan. It's probably an inch and a half, two inches thick, maybe 10, 11 inches wide by almost 18 inches long. It's perfect for sheet pan pizza. Don't worry, if you don't have something this big, a normal cookie sheet tray would be great. You might have enough dough for two, but just know that you don't have to have something like this. It's still sheet pan pizza. Go ahead and drizzle in a little bit of olive oil first to make sure the pizza crust doesn't stick. Next, we're gonna take that beautiful dough, pour it right in there, and we're gonna form it all the way across this entire sheet pan, pressing, molding, pushing, tugging, whatever you need to do, stretch it out. It'll probably be a little crust around the outside, absolutely perfect. Now, it's time to load up our pizza. Remember that little olive oil garlic concoction we made? Go ahead and spread it all around, all over the pizza dough. It's gonna add some phenomenal garlic flavor to this. And now for the tomatoes. I wanna to take a second to talk about this. If you've got a great family tomato sauce sort of recipe for pizza, then use it. I like things to be incredibly simple, so I only use crushed tomatoes right out of the can. Nothing else, I don't cook it, I don't do anything. I think it provides a very simple, full-flavored tomato flavor to our pizza. So I'm going to add on by the spoonful, spread it all around, of course, leave that crust on the outside. Now it's time to load up with cheeses. We're gonna first add our shredded mozzarella all over the pizza, followed up by adding on our sliced mozzarella. I've got some cooked bacon slices, so you know I'm putting them on there. Next, some pepperoni slices. Got some loose Italian sausage we're gonna put on there. 
tomatoes, some of those sliced mushrooms, green bell peppers, Parmesan cheese, some fresh basil leaves, and then we're gonna finish it with a little bit of sea salt and cracked black pepper. This is going in the oven on a scorching 500 degrees, but it's only gonna take in between 12 and 14 minutes for it to completely finish cooking. Boom, the pizza is done. This house smells glorious. Let's take it out of the oven and have a look. Oh man, this pizza, this house smells incredible. Such great memories coming from making this. Let's of course try it out first. Whoa, <laughs> this is incredible. The flavor, all the toppings, the cheese, the crust, so tender, perfectly kind of brown on the outside. Awesome recipe, you guys. Be sure to come back next week. I don't know what I'm making it. You know it's gonna be killer, so we'll catch up with you later. Thanks, Bob's Red Mill. See ya.